What's going on guys? Welcome back to channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are chilling with Muffin. Oh, hold on, hold on, baby, baby. Are you okay? You okay? Don't worry, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Um, we're gonna be doing some modifications to the M3. Hold on, I'm gonna put her down real quick. Oh, buddy. And when I mean modifications, there's two mods that I know of that you can pick up from BMW and do it the exact same day. And you can also get these parts from Keys Motorsports or online or anywhere else. So I'm actually going to go ahead, head down to BMW, get some quotes on these parts. As you guys know, these mods, you can get them from Keys Motorsports or BMW. I mean, the BMW stuff, but Keys Motorsports sells them, and I believe for even cheaper. FCP also believe sells it for even cheaper, but the long story short... Uh, let's just head down to BMW and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Or actually, before we actually head to BMW, I want to do some things to the house. So this room is considered my wife's office room. I've been actually working on my office room. Uh, so uh, actually, this is technically like a living room because there's no actual door or anything. But I mean, uh, we're going to turn into her office room for, for herself and her to enjoy. And I'm turning my other bedroom because uh, it's a two-bedroom house. I'm turning my the other bedroom uh, into an office room for all my other stuff. So for her room, we've got a lot of stuff and I want to go ahead and start putting this place together. So I think we're I'm gonna go ahead and do that in this video, in the beginning of this video. It's not gonna take too long, but I just wanna go ahead and get some things sorted in this house for those of you guys who also wanna see what I do in my daily life. I don't only work on cars, I have other things going on, and uh, I just thank God I've graduated university, so I no longer have to deal with schooling or anything like that. I don't know if you guys know, but 2021 was my last year of university. I'm so, so, so happy. It's, it's a thing of the past now. Um, how I consider it, it's kind of like my time has been served in prison and I'm finally released. So uh, God bless, God bless. So yeah, let's go ahead and work on this stuff and then we'll go ahead and get into some modifications on the F80. This girl literally plays with anything. She's literally playing with the receipt right now. <laughs> what do you got there, baby? <laughs> Any hoozles. Um, so yeah, this is the stuff we pretty much got. We got uh, this stuff. Yeah, yeah, this good stuff. So uh, home stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put these up. Not that I've ever done it before, but I'll, I don't see how it could be too hard. So guys, we just got up those two rods right there, which is looking absolutely perfect. Unfortunately, the actual curtains that we got were two short ends like right there. We needed to hit the ground. So uh, anywho, let's go ahead and get into some car stuff because that's what you guys are subscribed about, not home stuff. Actually, before we actually head out, guys, I do have a couple orders to actually send out and we also have the tail lights. When you guys cop the tail lights, so congratulations. We're gonna be sending out the tail lights and also send out some of you guys' orders. If you guys wanna cop some orders, make sure you check out that link down below. It'll be supporting the channel. Without further ado, let's head over to my dad's. And we're finally at BMW, guys. So I just kind of honestly came here for more of a statement thing. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get these from BMW. They're BMW mods. And as you guys can see, this is straight from BMW. So yeah, these are pretty much all the part numbers for everything here. These are straight, like BMW actually sells these mods. So we're not actually getting it from BMW. We're actually getting these from Keys Motorsports, mainly because it's a little bit cheaper. And at the same time, why not support my boy? You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I just came over here just to show you guys that you can literally get this from your local BMW, but honestly, I'll get them through Keys Motorsports, use my code NOR5, but uh, yeah, we got a brand new emblem, we got brand new seat emblems, today is an emblem day, but these things are pretty fire, so uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get back to my house, I'll just show you guys the emblems. Actually, we're gonna need some gas first, but then we're gonna go ahead and install the new emblems. All right, guys, we're finally now home. I know it's been a minute, it's been a minute. We've been doing some other things this morning, but we're finally here. We're gonna be installing this brand new emblem from BMW, and again, these, these are brand new for the M3. I actually have a set of these 
for the M4 because I've always wanted to do this and uh, I don't know if you guys can see it real quick but I actually got these for my M4 a while back but uh, yeah, um, you know what happened to the M4 so it is what it is. <laughs> yeah guys, we finally got the M3 ones. These look so much better and they do illuminate as well. I heard the install is actually very, very, very easy for those and very easy for this. So let's see how long it's gonna take us to do this. So uh, without further ado, let's go and do the M1 first. Alright guys, it's gonna lead a little bit of cleaning, so I'll come back to you in a little minute. And just like that guys, look at that OEM finish. It looks super good, and as you see, I didn't destroy my paint at all. It looks absolutely amazing. This tool is pretty awesome, guys. Again, get the ammo from Keys Motorsports because it's a good deal. And get these wheels from Amazon. I believe they're called Magic Erasers for cars or whatever. But yeah guys, oh my god. My previous one was black, but mine was chipping up here and it had a crack like right in the middle of it. So this looks so much better. I can't wait to actually wash the car as well. As you guys saw from the last video, we did get a new tire. So I need to wash the whole car, wash the tires and wash the emblem. But for the most part, it's looking mighty fine. All right guys, now before we actually install these beautiful seat emblems, uh, me and Vian and Jonathan are actually looking at some cars. What's going on, Vian? Yeah, so we tell them what cars we're looking at or we can... No, it has to be surprised, my dude. Okay, okay. It's gonna be a really, really It's a budget car. Really budget build, yeah. Budget supercar. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But uh yeah, we're just admiring the new emblem and uh, over here I'm actually this is not what the odds getting, but uh um I did find this I eight on Copart. Um this one actually might have some carbon I don't know if the carbon frame is bad at all because that's a pretty bad hit. But it's a twenty sixteen with sixty one thousand miles. I'm just curious how much something like this would go salvage title. So let's go ahead and join the auction and just see how much this thing was go for. All right guys, here is the i8. Will it just end at 2020, I mean 22,700? I guess we'll find out. Any bidders, any bidders? Heh, that's it? Oh, it's on reserve. So it's not, they're not even gonna sell it for that much. Sold on approval. Okay, well, there you guys have it. A salvage title, 60,000 mile i8 that possibly has carbon fiber tub issues, $22,000. I wouldn't buy that, honestly. So yeah, guys, this is the one from BMW. It looks super, super, super good. Um, now, the way to actually install this, unfortunately, you're gonna have to cut the wire that's in your car. Did a little bit of research, and that's why you have to go about it. Now, cutting this wire, so basically, there's a wire that goes from uh, the, so when you, un the old one, it's, it's connected not through a short wire, it's connected by a very long wire. So basically you're gonna leave, you can unplug that wire, but we're gonna go ahead and leave it plugged in from behind the seat, and from right here we're gonna cut it, and then just make our own connection and connect it right there. So the only thing you're really cutting really is uh, the original one. So that's like unfortunate, but uh, other than that, I mean, you don't really need, I mean, that's why you're replacing it, you don't need the old one anymore. So you're basically just cutting the other one, if you know what I mean. Anyways, let's, let's go ahead and uh, jump into it. All right guys, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has like hairline spider cracks all over this thing. Can they see that? Cause that just looks terrible. They can, yeah, they can see it. Yeah, I mean my other one, honestly, this entire thing was cracked. So, uh, so yeah, the way to go about this is that we're actually gonna put our fingers back here. We're gonna push on the tabs, pull down on it. Okay, there you go, that's one side. Keep doing at it. Okay. All right, that's how you do it, right? And we're gonna pull on this wire little by little here. A little bit of a struggle. As you guys can see, it's a very, very tight fit. Um, now to go about this, we wanna pull out as much as we can just because we're gonna be cutting the wire and we wanna re-solder new wires to it. So again, I'm just gonna keep hanging out this little by little to try to drag it up there. It's held down by a zip tie in the back of the seat. So uh, I'll, cut, I'll cut back to you guys in a little bit, but I'm gonna be yanking on this for just a little bit. All right guys, now after yanking on this after some time, honestly, I couldn't really get the wire out of there. So pretty much I pulled it till it pretty much ripped out of here. Um, so yeah, that's how the, the old piece looks like. Now it just looks like honestly like a souvenir. I'm honestly thinking about giving these away probably in the next video. Not this video, next video. Actually, there is gonna be a giveaway in this video. Giveaway in this video? Little, little giveaway for well, the boys. What are we doing? I mean, 
we can take a small little pause. So I don't know if you guys know, but we got the 600 horsepower kit from Burger Tunia. It came with this super nice phone mount. I'm actually gonna be getting a different phone mount, so I don't wanna open this and use it for a short period of time because I honestly wanna use it, but I'm not, I'm not gonna wanna just ruin it and then throw it away, you know? So I decided, you know what? Let me go ahead and give this to you guys. A little giveaway. If you guys wanna enter the giveaway, all you gotta do is pretty much go visit my Instagram. It's gonna be first link down below. Just literally like the most recent picture and comment anything down below. A nice comment, hateful comment, whatever you wanna comment. And I'm basically gonna be selecting it from the comments. I'm gonna be using this generator to pick one of you guys. So that's all you have to do to enter to win this bad boy. Completely for free, just go follow me on Instagram, like the recent picture, and comment in the recent post. So yeah, guys, like I said, when I actually pulled this off, it basically already stripped one of the, the wires. So there's a yellow wire right there, and there is a brown wire right there. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is, eh, we need to strip the brown one a little more. The yellow one's actually stripped pretty well. I need to pull this out a little more here. This is a very tight game, guys. <laughs> Hold up, hold up. You know what? I'll come back to you guys when I'm at a better angle and I got this little thing. I mean, pretty much use use some wire strippers and just strip both of them to have enough thread. And I'll show you guys the next step. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, now that I stripped the yellow wire and the brown wire, this is what actually comes in the kit right here in my hand. So it comes with basically two of these pins that go into a harness. And that new harness is going to actually plug into your new uh, emblem. So uh, basically how you go about this, you grab one of these. Let's just say, let's just let's do the, the yellow wire first. I think we're gonna have to actually twist it up a little bit. Yeah, we gotta keep twisting it just so it's gonna be easier to feed in there. Now we're just gonna go ahead and for put this little uh, pin into it. I know it's a really small, and it, I don't know if you guys can really see what I'm doing exactly, but uh, yeah, it's probably gonna be hard to see. Five hours later. So this is the method we ended up doing it just because this is so much easier. So if I go and unlock the car, um, I think it should be lit up right now. Yep. Whoa, that looks so much lighter than the one on your seat. So much better, yeah. Look Way at, better, Look bro. at that compared oh to this one. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. So yeah, I went ahead and did my method. It's gonna work my way or the way they're properly supposed to do it. Now, everything I'm doing here is only affecting one wire and that wire is completely unpluggable. If you remove this entire thing, you can replace that wire. So you're not really damaging anything with the car. So don't think you're actually damaging the harness to the car. It's a cable that unplugs, not a big deal. But yeah, so this is the way I did it. It was just so much easier doing this way. It is a process, but it's still so much easier than trying to finesse your hands and try to do everything back here. At least for me, it was kind of hard. So if you guys have the proper tools, you probably don't have to do it the way I just did it. But uh, yeah, basically all you need to do is once you strip those two wires, you put the two, one pin on each one and then you connect it onto the harness and you literally, so if I show you guys this right here, this is the harness that uh, comes with the kit. So when you order the kit, it comes like this as one piece. And then uh, this harness, you connected the two pins and those two pins go to the two wires here. I actually just added two extra wires. I soldered it on both ends. I did this all off camera, but I put a napkin over here. I did all the soldering and everything I need to. So everything is properly mounted, but I did mine to where you see how far it extends. It just makes it so much easier for me to unplug it and plug it in. And so if anything ever happens to this one, um, you know, I have an easy harness to uh, pull out and just work on. So again, if I go ahead and unlock the doors, as you see that lights up, so it's absolutely perfect. I'll go ahead and show you guys how I did it on that side. Just I'll show you guys my method because it's just a lot easier. I don't know. I kind of want to leave that on. Right, that's it what was, I was thinking. It makes the car look like it's factory new condition. <laughs> <laughs> it looks awesome. But yeah, so they are working fluidly. Again, if I go ahead and unlock the doors, wow, that just looks so much better than that one. Like day and night difference, yeah, guys. It really is. It's so much brighter too. Wow. Okay. All right. So I go ahead and show you guys my wiring technique. All right, guys, so as you can see, like I said, what comes with the kit is the harness that plugs into this one, actually goes in like that, plugs in, and then you have the two pins that go into the harness that these two pins actually connect to the wires on the car. So basically how I ended up doing it, because you could honestly just put these two pins onto the one on the car, and then you're literally, your life is 20 times easier, like honestly. But what I ended up doing honestly is that I just, uh, I have some extra gauge wire. I went ahead, snipped it, put it on here, snipped it, put another one on there, and then put it in here, and then I cut it where it's like over here, and then use these two and just connected it to the car because it's so much easier when you're just kind of twisting wires together rather than uh, trying to fit it onto here, put it into this harness and do this all in such a small, tight spot. Again, this is just me. You guys can do it your way. I like it this way, um, but again, either or works. So I'll see you guys when I have the, this whole thing rigged up again. <laughs> So like I said guys, I put the two wires into the two pins into the harness and now I'm just gonna put these two wires into two, those two wires and then just plug it in. So this is gonna be a lot easier to work with. Guys, check those out. <laughs> oh buddy, 
Those look so much better. And honestly, the light pops so much better and these last so much longer. And these actually say, oh my God, look how good those look. It actually says M3 on them. The last one just said M on them. So these actually say M3 and they just pop guys. I love the gloss black. I love how sharp that is. And I love how it actually shows all the colors too. That just looks absolutely amazing. Oh my God, those are amazing. And what I like about it too, it actually has a sticker on here that I'm actually gonna leave because it makes the car look fresh. It looks brand new. Oh, this interior is coming together guys. I absolutely love this car. The next thing is we're gonna definitely need an Aussie steering wheel for sure, for sure. And uh, maybe even a new shift knob. Let me know down below guys. But I, I think I like the ZHP more than this. And this one's kind of getting a little bit worn out. And I'm trying to make this interior as minty as possible. Guys, these seat emblems look so i'm keeping the wrapper on there i'm making it look like the car just came off the showroom floor look how oh my god that looks amazing oh my lord all right guys so yeah as you guys saw we got the mods on the car at this point we're gonna get some roller shots we got the new tires uh we want to get some new, new pictures the tail lights and everything so hopefully we're gonna go do that shout out to my mom um for not I actually didn't tell her that we're gonna use our X1, but uh, it's kind of sick that we're actually doing rollers from the X1. It's pretty dope. We need to get an X5 on the channel just so we can do rollers and cool things like that. But anyways, we are heading over to our first location to do uh, some roller shots and just have some fun with the car and maybe a launch control or something like that just so uh, you know, we can get you guys some better content. like that guys we are at the end of the video so don't forget to enter that giveaway we do have some more mods on the way but honestly we've been doing so many mods i'm gonna be doing a lot more like just vlogger style videos just to start enjoying the car again and just going out might even do some ia videos there's a lot of you guys have been asking where the ia is i'm gonna be doing some videos on that as well but without further ado guys i love y'all so much i hope you guys enjoyed this video again don't forget to enter that giveaway go follow me on my instagram this i even do many giveaways on my instagram so you guys are gonna be pretty much getting an inside scoop on that it's completely for free guys so why not so without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.